Negotiation is a crucial skill in various aspects of life, and here are some reasons why it is important. Resolving conflicts. Negotiation allows conflicting parties to find common ground and reach mutually beneficial agreements. It provides a structured process for addressing differences, reducing tensions, and finding compromises. Achieving win-win outcomes. Effective negotiation aims to create outcomes that satisfy the interests of all parties involved. It enables collaborative problem-solving and helps find creative solutions that maximize value for both sides. Building relationships. Negotiation fosters communication, understanding, and trust between individuals or groups. By engaging in respectful and constructive negotiations, relationships can be strengthened, creating a foundation for future interactions. Gaining favorable terms. Negotiation allows individuals to advocate for their interests and secure favorable terms. Whether it's in business transactions, employment contracts, or personal agreements, negotiating can help you achieve better outcomes and protect your interests. Improving decision-making. Negotiation involves active listening, information sharing, and exploring different perspectives. Engaging in a negotiation process helps gather insights, consider various options, and make informed decisions based on a more comprehensive understanding of the situation. Enhancing problem-solving skills. Negotiation challenges individuals to think critically, analyze problems, and come up with creative solutions. It develops problem-solving skills, adaptability, and the ability to navigate complex situations effectively. Creating value. Negotiation allows for the creation of value by identifying and leveraging shared interests and resources. It encourages collaboration and the exploration of opportunities that may not have been initially apparent. To become a skilled negotiator, consider the following tips and strategies. Prepare thoroughly. Before entering into any negotiation, gather as much information as possible about the other party, their needs, goals, and any relevant market conditions. Understand your own objectives, priorities, and limits. This preparation will help you make informed decisions during the negotiation process. Set clear goals and priorities. Define your desired outcomes and establish clear goals for the negotiation. Prioritize your objectives so that you can focus on what matters most to you. This clarity will guide your decision making and help you stay on track during the negotiation. Understand the other party's perspective. Put yourself in the shoes of the other party and try to understand their motivations, concerns, and constraints. By empathizing with their point of view, you can identify potential areas of agreement and find creative solutions that meet both parties' interests. Listen actively. Effective negotiation requires active listening. Give your full attention to the other party, show genuine interest in their perspectives, and ask clarifying questions when needed. Listening attentively helps you gather valuable information and signals, and it builds rapport and trust. Communicate clearly and assertively. Clearly articulate your positions, needs, and expectations. Be confident and assertive in expressing your ideas and proposals. Use persuasive language and present logical arguments supported by facts, evidence, or data. Seek win-win outcomes. Aim for mutually beneficial outcomes where both parties feel they have gained value. Look for creative solutions that address the interests of both sides. By focusing on collaboration rather than a win-lose mentality, you can build stronger long-term relationships and enhance the likelihood of future cooperation. Be flexible and open to concessions. Negotiation often involves compromise. Be willing to make concessions on certain issues to reach an agreement. However, ensure that any concessions align with your overall goals and do not undermine your core interests. Control your emotions. Emotional intelligence is crucial in negotiation. Stay calm, composed, and professional throughout the process, even if faced with challenging or provocative behavior from the other party. Managing your emotions allows you to think clearly and make rational decisions. Use negotiation techniques. Familiarize yourself with various negotiation techniques, such as anchoring, setting the initial terms, exploring multiple options, seeking trade-offs, or using the good cop, bad cop approach. Learn when and how to use these techniques effectively, but always maintain integrity and transparency in your negotiation style. Be prepared to walk away. Know your limits and be willing to walk away if the negotiated agreement does not align with your minimum requirements or if the other party is unwilling to meet your needs. 
Being prepared to walk away demonstrates your strength and can sometimes lead to a more favorable outcome. Learn from each negotiation. After each negotiation, reflect on what worked well and what could be improved. Assess the outcomes and identify lessons learned. Continuous learning and improvement will make you a better negotiator over time. Negotiation is a skill that can be developed with practice and experience. By adopting a strategic and principled approach, understanding the other party's perspective, and focusing on collaborative solutions, you can become a skilled negotiator who achieves favorable outcomes while maintaining positive relationships. When negotiating, body language plays a crucial role in conveying confidence, openness, and assertiveness. Here are some best body language practices to consider during negotiations. Maintain good eye contact. Sustaining eye contact demonstrates confidence and shows that you are attentive and engaged in the negotiation. Use open and relaxed body posture. Avoid crossing your arms or legs, as it can signal defensiveness or closed-off behavior. Instead, keep your posture open and relaxed to foster a sense of openness and receptiveness. Lean slightly forward. Leaning slightly forward demonstrates interest and engagement in the conversation. It conveys that you are actively listening and ready to participate. Maintain a neutral facial expression. Aim for a calm and composed facial expression. Avoid displaying signs of irritation, frustration, or anger, as it can hinder effective communication. Use hand gestures purposefully. Appropriately using hand gestures can add emphasis and clarity to your points. However, avoid excessive or distracting gestures that may undermine your message. Moderate your tone of voice. Speak clearly and confidently, ensuring your voice carries authority. Avoid speaking too softly or too aggressively, as it may impact the perception of your negotiation style. Mirror and match. Subtly mirroring and matching the body language of the other party can help establish rapport and build a connection. However, be cautious not to mimic them excessively, as it may come across as insincere. Maintain a calm and composed demeanor. Stay composed, even in challenging moments. Displaying patience and control can convey that you are a reasonable and level-headed negotiator. Use purposeful pauses. Strategic pauses can be used to emphasize important points or to create anticipation. They can also provide you with time to gather your thoughts before responding. Be aware of personal space. Respect personal space boundaries and maintain an appropriate distance from the other party. Invading personal space can make others uncomfortable and hinder effective negotiation. Body language should align with your verbal communication and the overall negotiation strategy. It's essential to adapt these practices to your specific cultural context and individual style while remaining authentic and respectful throughout the negotiation process. Do you need to train your young and new leaders on negotiating or do you want a training design about this? Email me at jeromeansaibang2011 at yahoo.com. Let's talk. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, share, like and comment.